Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Luz. Today's video is my August favorites. This is the video where I like to share some of my favorite things that I liked for the month of August. This month has been kind of a good month. I mean, I have been uploading frequently. I have, it was my daughter's birthday at the end of August, so it got a little hectic towards the end there. But overall, it was a great month. I am very happy and looking forward to the month of September. Thank you very much for everybody that subscri subscribed to my channel so far. I truly do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And I will for all, forever and always be grateful and forever and always say thank you because it just means so much to me. So let's go ahead and jump into the favorites for the month of August. I do have mostly skincare, some hair items, um body care items and very little makeup products for the month of august so please stay tuned keep on watching let's begin with hair so i recently recently picked up this pantene moisturizing cleansing conditioner i picked it up i believe it was target and i have been looking for a cleansing conditioner and this one was pretty affordable decided to give it a try and I really do like it it makes my hair shiny on the days that I use it I do not use a cleansing conditioner every day I use the cleansing conditioner every other wash and I wash my hair twice a week so I would say every so I use the cleansing conditioner once a week <laughs> and like I said it leaves my hair shiny it um does not disrupt the curl and it leaves it nice and moisturized i have gotten compliments on my hair ever since i started using it because it was getting a little bit dry and yeah i really like it the next product that i have to show you are gonna be skincare items this combination here by sunday riley the lactic acid good jeans lactic acid and the luna night oil I have been using these for about three months. It is a little pricey, I'm not gonna lie, but I think it is completely and utterly important to invest in skincare. And although I do use some drugstore skincare items, not to knock them down at all, I do find that they are very, very strong and potent for the skin and they deliver excellent results. I am about halfway done through the night oil and I like to put the night oil right after cleansing my my face and then wait a few minutes and put on the good jeans. The good jeans, it says here, it brightens, exfoliates, plump lines, reduces the appearance of hyperpigmentation and instantly boosts, boosts radiance. I have to say that all of these claims are 100% correct. I do find that when I use this at night, I, my, I wake up with better looking skin and then the Luna Sleeping Oil says it's the next generation retinoid, all reduces the appearance of pores and wrinkles while fighting the signs of premature aging and redness. I have a lot of redness and I do find that this kind of diminishes, not 100% the redness, it's, it's still there, but it, if I use it frequently, I do see a um, significant improvement. I don't use these products every night, number one, because they're pricey and I want them to last, and also because I have other skincare items that I want to give some love to. And the next item is also a skincare product, and that is the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe. I like to use this right after I cleanse and tone my skin as kind of like a moisturizer. It says here that this is... Um, used to set makeup, soothe your skin in dehydrating conditions, or to give your skin a quick boost anytime, anywhere. Very, very true. Um, I feel like I can put this on and my skin just feels moisturized without it looking oily. It smells like roses, not like grandma roses, but just youthful and fresh. It, it feels good on your skin and just kind of gives you a little bit of, hmm, today's a good day <laughs> kind of feeling. The next item is a body care item, and it is the Soap and Glory Sir Soap and Glory Sugar Crush 
with Buddy Scrub. And it comes with Smash Brown Sugar and Sweet Lime, Almond Oil, and Macadamia Grains. This smells kind of like a mixture of Sprite and candy. It's really good. Um, it leaves the skin feeling so soft, super, super duper soft and very um, hydrated. My um, skin has been feeling just great after I use it. I halfway through the bottle. I believe that this is the second one I purchased. The first one was the one that's all pink. And I like the scent of that one over this one, but they're all just great great hydrating and smooth and it makes your skin just very soft extremely soft and like I said very conditioned very hydrated because some scrubs can tend to leave my skin looking even drier than they were before but with this it just it's you kind of don't even need lotion after you use it but I still put lotion on <laughs> okay and the next item is going to be the next three items are going to be makeup this Rimmel Maxi Bronzer is gorgeous. I have it in the shape dark, and it is very, very good. It's drugstore. It, the product is smooth. The color is dark enough for my skin, as you can see there, and it just performs very good overall. It has it hasn't failed me and I just picked it up this month it's a new favorite for me and it's very affordable I really 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 like that one and next something new for me as well is the wet n wild foundation if you have not seen my review on this product I'll go ahead and link it up here but all I can say is this is very affordable and super super good it, it blew me away how good it is I was not expecting it to be that good as good as it is and the color matches me perfectly the last overall lasting power of the foundation it's great and it looks great in pictures it looks great in person I absolutely love this foundation and then the last makeup product that I have is the master chrome face studio by Maybelline this highlight is just beautiful it's very affordable and I will go ahead and put some on camera for you. It's a beautiful color, especially if you're tan or medium dark skin tone, it's gonna look ooh, just beautiful on the skin, gorgeous color. Look at that. It's just gorgeous. Ooh, girl. <laughs> and um, the next product is a brush. This I got at my BoxyCharm. It's great for bronzing the skin. That's what I have been loving it the most. It's big and soft and just gets right in here. You can put it in like this like this and to apply blush it's also great for that it's just a great brush great quality it's very heavy um it's an inexpensive brush but the material and the, the way it looks it looks expensive when it's not it's one of those things that likes to fool you a little bit and i do have no. one disappointment for the month of august i picked this up over at walgreens this is the alme ipad makeup remover pads these things are super dry they, I have to use three of them to remove the makeup on one eye. They are very dry. They have almost no product on here. It takes forever to remove the makeup. It smells horrible, and it just didn't do it for me. I'm going to continue using them just to finish them up, but I will definitely not be repurchasing these again. They are not, not worth the money even. I think they were, I want to say, 8 or $9, which is not a whole lot, but if if you say you're an eye makeup remover, you need to remove makeup. It, it's very, it says gentle, oil-free. It's very gentle. I do, I do have to agree with that, but it needs to be good enough to remove the rest of all the eye makeup, and it's really not doing that for me at all. And even on the days that I don't wear as much eye makeup as I'm wearing today, it still doesn't do the job. So I got to say this is a not good item for me. 
and that is it for today's for this video those are my favorites and hate it's for the month of august if you have any video suggestions please go ahead and put those down in the in the comment section i would love to create any content for you guys that you actually want to see and if there's anything else that you guys should suggest for my channel please put that in the link in the comment section before and the comment if there's any other suggestions for this channel please go ahead and put that in the comment section below and i can go ahead and read those out and see what we can do but that is it for today thank you so much for watching have a great day also also ah! If you have not subscribed, please go ahead and click that subscribe button. It means a lot to me. And if you did like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day, everybody.